What's going on champs and champets, it's FireMonkey here, and in today's YouTube video, I'm going to be telling you how you can complete your Fortnite Remix Pass within less than a week. Now, I want to mention something as I'm me recording this video, right? I'm currently level 51, almost level 52, I have all seven pages of the base Battle Pass rewards done, and I can already claim some free rewards on the premium tier, you know, the bonus rewards page right here, such as the Lim Limitless Jam Track, and now, of course, I'm not 100% finished because I still have to get to tier 70 in order to get all the rewards here, and then tier 100. I do believe to get all the rewards over here on the second page as well, but I am getting very far into the pass while at the exact same time grinding out Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I've been playing zombies in that mode, doing camos and everything, and despite me grinding two games at the exact same time, I've already completed the main Fortnite Remix Pass, so this method is going to be super beautiful for you guys to actually do, especially if you're someone who's going to be actively playing the game, and on top of it, something else I should mention here is the fact that some XP values that we talk about in this video just got buffed in the middle of me recording, so it's something that's going to be even more effective than what it was when I was doing it this morning, meaning that you'll be able to gain over 20 levels each day just by basically playing the game for like 3 to 4 hours. Alright, so what is this crazy method we're talking about other than just playing the game and, you know, doing your quests and everything else like Milestones and Battle Royale? Well, it's ironically enough playing the game, and I know some people are going to click off the video, but let me explain. Starting with Fortnite Remix, Epic Games has added playtime XP into normal Battle Royale and Zero Build, meaning just by playing Battle Royale, just by playing Zero Build, you're gaining XP. By playing Fortnite Festival, you're gaining XP. By playing LEGO Fortnite, you're gaining XP. And by playing Fortnite Reload, you're gaining XP, and you're gaining XP. A lot of it. So we're gonna go through all the different playtime XP's first in order to tell you which one's kind of like the least likely one for you to level up from, all the way to what the one most powerful ones are going to be. First off for Fortnite Festival, playtime XP has basically been absolutely murdered this season, dropping all the way down to 4,000 XP every 10 minutes played, up to 200 minutes per day or one entire level per day just by playing uh, Fortnite Festival. The reason they cut playtime XP down heavily is because of the fact that they're starting to make all their quests use normal XP gains and everything, it might be buffed next season or whatever else, but with the new prestige reward systems and how they kind of have everything based around XP for the music pass this time around, it does appear like this is in the very early stages where Fortnite Festival early on is going to earn you a lot of levels, but towards the end of the season, once you've already done all those different quests that are available in Festival, you're going to notice your XP in that mode starts dropping off heavily and you're not going to be leveling up nearly as quickly as you would like due to playtime XP basically just being absolutely butchered for that mode. For Battle Royale and Zero Build, newly this season, every 15 minutes you play, up to 150 minutes per day or 2.5 hours per day, you'll be able to earn 24,000 XP. So if you play for two and a half hours of just Zero Build or normal Battle Royale, this also includes ranked mode, but you know, keep in mind ranked mode, Zero Build, non-ranked mode, all that type of stuff is combined together to the same quest pool. So you can't do like 2.5 hours in Battle Royale, 2.5 hours in Zero Build or anything like that. It all is combined in all of those core modes that are, you know, kind of combined here. But stuff like Fortnite Festival won't affect your XP gain for Battle Royale. But for doing it for a total of 2.5 hours, you'll be able to earn 240,000 XP entirely for free just for basically playing Battle Royale. And I mean, if you're playing Battle Royale, you're doing quests, you're doing milestones, you're doing all this other stuff, so you're still going to be leveling up a lot more anyways, but you're guaranteed a little bit over two levels, maybe three levels, just by playing Battle Royale daily. And then where it starts getting insane is LEGO Fortnite. Now when I started recording this video, LEGO Fortnite had the following values. 38,000 XP every 10 minutes, up to 150 minutes or 2.5 hours per day, equaling up to 570,000 XP just for playing LEGO Fortnite. And I've already done my playtime XP for LEGO Fortnite today, right? I was hyped to get it done and then I heard this news and I'm like, oh dang it, because they've actually increased it. Now in LEGO Fortnite, every 10 minutes you play will earn you 51,000 XP instead of 38,000 XP, meaning instead of gaining 570,000 XP per day just by playing LEGO Fortnite for two and a half hours, you will now be able to earn 765,000 XP per day in LEGO Fortnite just by playing it. You gotta keep in mind there is some little AFK detection type of stuff, so if you manage to find a way to bypass AFK detection while AFKing, you know, more power to you, but they have massively increased the XP 
XP gain for normal LEGO Fortnite to being over 200,000 XP more than what it was earlier this morning when I was actually doing it, meaning that each day you play LEGO Fortnite, you're basically guaranteed 10 levels just for playing it for two and a half hours. And then the number one power leveling system right now for the new Fortnite season is Fortnite Reload. Every 15 minutes you play Fortnite Reload, you will actually, actually wait, it's lower than LEGO Fortnite now. Originally, uh, Fortnite Reload was the maximum. So LEGO Fortnite is the best method now after the hotfix and everything else. My notes are kind of a little outdated, but if you play Fortnite Reload, every 15 minutes you play, you get 60,000 XP, which is almost one whole entire level. Now, if you play up to 150 minutes per day, AKA 2.5 hours, you'll be able to get 600,000 XP. Meaning, let's say you play 2.5 hours of LEGO Fortnite and 2.5 hours of Fortnite Reload. In a single day, you're almost going to go up over 20 levels just by playing those two modes alone. And you gotta keep in mind, while you're playing these modes, you're probably gonna be completing other quests and stuff, maybe not for LEGO Fortnite, but if you're playing like Fortnite Reload while doing LEGO Fortnite as well, you're gonna be completing other quests and stuff. If you have weeklies and all that type of stuff going on, you'll be able to complete those as well. You'll be power leveling yourself through this season insanely quickly just by playing the game daily. And it is interesting to see how certain things like Fortnite Reload give you so much XP while other things like Fortnite Festival and Battle Royale slash Zero Build don't really give you as much XP. But hey, I would say take advantage of it while you can, right? Especially if you're someone who's able to find a way to AFK on LEGO Fortnite, go ahead, set it up on like another device or something, go AFK in that mode while you grind out other games, you know, like I've been doing Black Ops 6 grinding recently, and you'll be able just to level up the season and complete the remix pass as if it was just given to you for free, right? As if it was just a bonus for buying the pass to begin with, and I see that as an absolute win. But yeah, if you want to level up super fast this season, you want to go ahead and complete your remix pass, the way to do it is to go ahead and literally play the game. Like, I, I, I know it's stupid advice to be like, oh, you want to you complete the season? Have you tried playing the game? But this time around, it's like playing the game is quite literally the XP method because of the fact that it just instantly gives you so much playtime XP regardless of what mode you're in. And if you really want to optimize it, you know, you want to do your LEGO Fortnite, Fortnite Reload, you want to go ahead and play Battle Royale or whatever else in game, and you want to do it all in the same day, you could also go ahead and do your creative challenges as well because I don't know if you guys know this but creative has discovery XP that you're able to earn and as you earn that discovery XP and everything else you're going to be able to actually get yourself a lot more just XP added daily to your account and there's other maps that if you kind of figure out a method like for me I use parkour city tag I just go around finding all the coins every 10 minutes you'll be able to complete that actual XP gain for creative mode insanely quickly so it's something where it's like hey XP nowadays in Fortnite is literally a freebie. Leveling up in the past doesn't even require you to really play the game anymore. All it does is require you to know how to actually go about earning that XP in the first place. So I definitely think that anyone out there wanting to level up their seasonal pass, especially if you're someone who may not have as much free time, you're going to want to go ahead and do something like AFKing in LEGO Fortnite, especially if you're just doing sandbox mode, right? Just creating random builds over and over, flying around exploring while having like deep talks with your friends at two in the morning, whatever you can do just do that because it requires no effort to do LEGO Fortnite and you're able to earn 10 guaranteed levels per day just by doing it so I don't see a reason why you wouldn't go ahead and do it to begin with. Now another thing to kind of keep in mind here if you want to min max all your XP gains is that XP gain resets daily at around 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern time. So if you're someone wanting to go ahead and grind out all the levels and everything else you're probably wondering does it reset when the item shop resets or anything? It does not reset when the item shop resets and to make this a little bit simpler for people who may not you know have eastern time as their main time zone your xp that you'll be able to earn daily basically resets 13 hours or 14 hours 13 to 14 hours after the main uh, item shop reset actually occurs so once you go to sleep you wake up the next morning you wait a few hours you'll be able to do the xp grind once again and start going through all of the levels like it was nothing right you don't even have to do quests this season right because if we look here i've done my you know week zero quest or whatever else if we look at milestones i've done a few things here and there you know such as eliminating players which i'm almost done with right here but there's a lot of stuff that i haven't fully done i mean travel distance and vehicles is kind of going on because my thing kind of glitched in the background as you can see right there but it's something that you're able just to do insanely quickly i mean even reboot rally i got that done real quick by doing you know just your normal matches and bot lobbies and everything else 
but it is a super easy time to level up the season and you know especially since there's a lot of rewards that you actually get from a single tier I would say you definitely want to go out there and complete this pass even if you're not a fan of it right because there are tiers in there that doesn't tell you right away until you claim it but once you claim it it gives you like three to four rewards it'll give you a skin it will give you like a loading screen a banner icon tons of stuff that they're not even advertising in the pass itself meaning that you're actually getting more bang for your buck than you might even realize that you're getting so it's definitely something I wanted to share with you guys now if we go ahead and look at my friends list for example and we look at someone like B-Mixed, this is Be Yourself, and they're currently level 70. You can see that they're going ahead and just playing normal Battle Royale and everything to level up, but they've already basically completed the entire pass by hitting level 70 within the first week. So yeah, Playtime XP is the most powerful way to actually level up this season. So if you really want to know, how do I reach your desired level fast? It's literally, and I know it sounds stupid, but play the game. Play the game, strategically figure out which modes you want to do first so that you can earn that playtime XP across all the different modes. You know, maybe start off with LEGO Fortnite for 2.5 hours, you know, just have a little chill time, then move over to Reload, then move over to Battle Royale slash Zero Build, and then finish off your day in Festival if you really want to min-max your level progress and everything else. But that is, unironically, the best way to level up this season. So hopefully this video helped you out, hopefully told you the specifics on each of the leveling systems, how much XP you get for each mode, how long you have to be in those modes to get the most out of your playtime and if you enjoyed today's video consider subscribing to support the content I create but until next time I'll catch you champs and champettes a little bit later with another upload so until then peace out after I get this elimination up here because look I'm greedy okay I I know I'm in a bot lobby but I must end off the video on a smart no I can't aim okay you know what let me just go ahead we'll pickaxe him to death hope you champs and champettes enjoyed the video and until next time uh, come on let me let me do my outro. no don't do it snoop peace out